Hi, this video will cover the installation of the DB2 SSO module from Centrify. This module enables organizations um, to enhance their DB2 deployment by A, not requiring users to be local to the, um, to the Unix or Linux system that hosts the DB2 database. The benefit of that is that once you have centralized administration, when you enable or disable user in AD, they will effectively lose access to uh, DB2. At the same time, they have the ability to get SSO. Uh, they can have names that are longer than eight, eight characters. And DB2 can use the user's group memberships in AD for entitlements. The first step that we need to do is find out what version of DB2 we require based on our platform. So in here, notice that I'm running a CentOS, which is a Red Hat derivative. It is a 64-bit system already joined and connect to assist to Active Directory and is running the Agent 5.2. With that information at hand, um, I'm able to find out or, or to determine which um, which version of the bits I need to download. Another information that I need, that I need to collect is, uh, uh, you know, what uh, version of DB2 I'm running and uh, what instance is active. So uh, DB2 level gives me that information and notice that this is a 64-bit 10.5 version of DB2. With that, I just need to go to the customer download center. In my particular case, I'm, ru I'm running it on RHEL. So I'm gonna go ahead and download this file and agree to the terms and I'll do the download. Um, that file, all I need to do is copy it over to my system. I'm gonna use PSCP, I already have it. So I'm gonna PSCP and this will be centrify dash db2 and this is going to go to my send um, and send 8 and I'm going to put it on the temp directory and that file has been copied already all I need to do at this point is uh, head out to my temp directory I'm going to just uh, make a, a folder for it, for it and Let's go ahead and tar and it will be temp. All right, so we have uh, we have the, the PDF manual. This is important because there's going to be advanced topics that you need to uh, review that, that document, especially if you're looking to plan for, for production deployment. Um, we, we have the plugin as an RPM and some release notes. So very simple, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, uh, just uh, um, elevate, so I'll do RPM minus UVH and uh, Centrify DC, there you go. And that should uh, do installation and we will have it ready. So at this point, we have already uh, uh, set up the, the DB2 plugin and in the next video we'll cover uh, how to configure it.